Morning. I swear a lot. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to One Shot, and we start once again from my desktop because you know the drill. Post sleep cutscenes. We need to we need to see the dreams. Oh, no dream. Oh. No dream. Okay. All right. I was kind of. Ex I mean, I guess we're doing for realsy mode now, but I was really kind of expecting a dream. Then again, maybe Nico's sleep is a bit restless at the moment. I could understand why. All things considered. So. The doorway's blocked. There's not a lot going on in the ruins. I check over here. There's not a lot going on. This bridge is out. The bridge is broken. The bridge is broken. The bridge is... Okay, alright, cool. What if... Do I have anything that could serve as a bridge? Take it to the bridge? Crowbar? The crowbar doesn't bridge. Okay, alright, well, I'm stuck already. Maybe I have to go talk to Plant Lady. Please do not approach. The gate is closed until further notice. Yeah, yeah. They're in the door. Yeah, yeah. It's bad. It's a bad time. It's a bad scene. Nothing's going well for anyone. All I can think of is to go talk to the plant lady and be like, yo, can you um, make a bridge, please? Because uh, I'm the messiah. I'm very important. I have places to go, things to do. I want to have a quick... I know I've already looked through here, but I want to keep looking and make sure I am not missing anything because... You know, it's kind of one of those games where you can't miss anything because if you miss things, you don't get to proceed. And uh, it's bad. It's it's a bad scene. It's a bad time. No bueno. Distinctly lacking in bueno. It's one of the best chocolate bars ever, by the way. Kinder Bueno. Yes, very good. Highly recommend. I love hazelnut. Hello, robot. Hello, person. <laughs> Two children reside near here. Uh, are they accessible? Can I go talk to them? I don't think I can. Plant well, lady, help me. I don't know what to do. I'm only God. And God doesn't know what to do, which means we're in big trouble. I'm not going to use the crowbar on you. Do not worry. I'm fine. What if? Do not worry. I'm fine. Oh, but I need more vines, please. Okay, fine. All right, cool. Uh, this was this is a dead end immediately. I guess this world is just doomed. Not a lot I can do about it. Yeah, I'm doing my best, but maybe the two children can help me. But I can't get to them, so there's that. I'm going to attempt to cross any and all vines I see in the hopes of progress. Tree? No tree. Anti-tree. Negative tree. There's gotta be somewhere to cross that bridge, surely. The journal? Bridge is broken. Bridge is broken. Can't combine those. The bridge is broken. I'm not trying to do- I'm not- I'm not trying to do that. It would send you home though. Bridge is broken. Uh, Amber? Uh, the bridge is broken. Uh, not gas mask. Memory- I can't combine those. Memory disc? The bridge is broke. Oh, fuck. But what do I do? I hate puzzles! There's nothing in here. Oh, okay, it actually addressed the issue I had. There's more work, yes there is. I suppose it addressed the issue I had where I was like, oh, I'm annoyed at the fact that I have to fucking wait for Nico to get tired, whereas now I can just do it whenever I like, which is handy. Squares are just everywhere. We're in the door. Where are those squares? There's not a goddamn thing we can do about the squares, is there? More of those squares. But, 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 there's nowhere I can go. But, I can't go anywhere, and I can't do anything. Well then our solution has to be in the ruins somewhere, because there's nowhere else to go. You're a robot, you're worthless to me. Can't go that way. Can't go up through that way. To the right is nothing, to the south over there is nothing. Can't go left only go right. Continually going right. If I keep going right... Oh, the pathway is blocked by blocks. Oh, wait a minute. I remember something about this. Ha <laughs> ha! Never knew it'd be so easy. Uh, ow, my foot, ow. I'm sorry, Nico, you should wear better shoes. Oh no, your house, your home. Oh. 
the door. I knew we'd lose our home eventually, but I wasn't expecting it to happen so soon. Oh, jeez. Are you guys okay? Oh, my stars! It's the fucking savior! Oh! Um, uh, it's an honor to meet you. Yes! I'd invite you inside, but it, no. Uh, it's got squares in it. Yes, Alula, thank you. It's getting everywhere now, isn't it? Hmm? The squares, there are way more than before. Even the gate to the refuge is destroyed now. That didn't happen last time. Last time? Uh, 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 nothing! Let's let that slip, Adam. Yeah, you did. Told you not to. And the robot told you even more not to. Guess I should introduce myself again. My name is Nico. Nico. Oh gosh, would it not be rude to call you by name? Uh, no worries, Calamus. How did you know my name? I, uh, uh... Not again! <laughs> Messiah just knows these things, Calamus. They're the Messiah. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Whew! Ah, oh, you were saying about the gate. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's broken. I can't get through. Do either of you know of another way to get in? I remember, I mean, I heard that there's some sort of hidden passage around here somewhere. Oh, the passage to the burial grounds? That's the one. Oh, but I'm not sure if that'll be of any use here. It's been flooded for a long time and there's no boat. Not to mention the burial grounds itself is pretty far from the city. That's okay, I still want to see it. I have a magic book. Yeah, it's the only lead we have. Alright, in that case, please follow us. Absolute legends, giving me puzzle solutions. Squares are blocking the doorway. Uh, all of their worldly possessions are in that house. The garden. At least the courtyard is unaffected for now. Yeah, for now. We usually get to the burial grounds through our friend, but he hasn't been here in forever. Normally this courtyard would be where we meet up. I hope he comes back soon. Like now. That'd be handy if he came back now. The ball! It's a ball. That's mine! It doesn't bounce around as much as it used to, though. There's too many squares in it. Water. This is the be- Aha! Yes! It's all coming together. Someone else. Nico! Nico, what's wrong? Ugh, you're about to faint. Ugh. It's not the first time it's happened. Oh? Earlier I was in the Barrens and I saw something like this too. It's like a dream, but only for a split second. Sounds like a vision. Like something a prophet would see. Yes. The robot lady I was with earlier had a fancy word for it though. Wait. Let me check something. Yes. The book! The book! It's glowing. Ooh. I was right. We were right. Thank you. I am God. Huh? When I had the vision back of the Barons, the book started glowing too. I wanted to see if I could get this to happen again, and... Where did you get that? Oh, uh, I had it with me when I woke up in this world. Looks like one of our friend's books. Except it's glowy. That's what the lady said too. Hmm. Can we let's see if we can do anything with the journal? Yes, I am familiar with this puzzle now. Yes. Check this out. You stand on the fucking thing, and then you... Bazow? Bazow! Yes, Bazow. Made a boat. Whoa! How'd that boat get there? Uh... Okay, I'm pretty sure it has to do with this journal now. The exact same thing happened back in the Barrens. Seriously? The journal was glowing, so I wanted to take a closer look at it. And I found a page that looked like a drawing of the room we were in, and a uh, minecart showed up. What? What? That sounds freaky. No, it doesn't. Adam must have done something. Still. Hey, we have a boat now. We can go to the burial grounds and visit Mom again. But, come on, Calmus. Nico and Adam are with us. Well, if Adam made the boat appear, it should be safe. What do you think, Adam? I mean, I thought I'd get to weigh in, but I guess not. Leave whenever you're ready. Can we go yet? Let's go now. 
Here we go! This is gonna end in tragedy, I can tell. Boat. 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 This is my boat song. This is my- oh. Ooh! The cat and the bird people. There's lots of glowies and such. God damn. This is gonna end in tragedy, I can tell. I can already see it. Are we just on the ocean? Good thing I can't go up or down. Okay, yes. We made it. Come on, Alula. Let's go pay our respects. Okay. They disappeared to pay their respects. It's gravestone. Lots of gravestones. But we'll go hang out with them first, because it's the only lead we have. This is her grave. Uh, it's been years, but it's still hard, you know? Uh. Lula, want to help me look for some flowers for mom later? Yes! <laughs> well, you're not gonna believe what happened today. We met the Messiah and... Hi, Nico! <laughs> Hi! Good, good, good peep, good people, good, good people. We met the Messiah. <laughs> I forgot I liked the kids. I forgot they were cool. I really hope nothing tragic happens. Oh. Hi. It's you! Uh. You, uh. My name is Nico. Ah. N nice to finally meet you. No way. It is a pleasure to be of acquaintance at last, Nico. My name is Cedric. Oh, that's handy. That's really handy. I'm supposed to be looking for you, too. I am aware. Prototype had contacted me earlier, saying you would be on your way to the city. He did? He sent me a message after his memories were restored. Oh. He told me to wait in the city, but I thought it would be faster for me to pick you guys up. I agree. Turns out that was a terrible idea. Oh. Pick us up. Wait, you can fly that plane? What is a plane? That thing behind you. It's a fucking plane. Oh, you mean the flying machine. They're called planes in my world. Oh. That's stupid. I did not realize they existed in other worlds. Wait, are you the friend that Calamus and Alula was talking about then? Is this the same flying machine they were talking about? I do not know anyone named Calamus or Alula. I think they're meant to be friends with my father. In previous iterations of the... Your father? He was the original owner of the flying machine. It's one of his greatest inventions, actually. Your dad invented planes. Flying machine. It's cool either way. Thanks? But to answer your earlier question, I'm proficient in operating the machine. But something weird happened to the engine when I was in the air earlier. I had to make an emergency landing on this tiny island before I crashed into the city wall. I almost crashed? That's terrible. It was not pleasant, I will admit. I wonder if the engine problem has to do with the square particle disruptions. I checked, but there isn't any of that square stuff inside the machine itself. But I noticed some islands in the Glen are really messed up now. They are. Uh, guess I should have listened to Proto in the first place. Say, where is he? He said he was coming with you. Is he still back at the main islands? Oh, actually... Back at the Barrens, he... There was a cave-in, and then a bunch of squares. He and the robot lady. Neither of them made it out. Ha. Uh, no. He did give me this, though. A disc he pulled from his head. Oh! Oh, thank goodness. He gave you his main drive. As long as I have this, I should be able to bring him back. Really? It's gonna be hard, but yes. You need all three of us for the big door. Oh god, really. Uh, but first things first, we need to go find a way to the city. 
Right. The city gate is kind of kaput now. If this machine was working, we could just fly right in there. I've isolated the issue with the machine, but I can't repair it with the stuff I have on hand. What's wrong with it? The battery in the engine is dead, and the engine has some gears that need to be replaced. Huh. You think you'll be able to fix it if Adam and I help you find those things? Maybe. The problem is, the Glen isn't exactly a very high-tech area. I'm not sure if you'll be able to find anything so specialized here. We'll try anyway. I not really do anything else right now. Let's have a look at the- it's a fire. Yes, let's have a look at the plane. Piece from this plane. See, the problem is that this piece of the plane isn't on the plane. You should put the piece of the plane on the plane and then the plane will plane properly. It's called a plane, you idiot. Just a wrench. It's a crowbar. We have one of those. It's a plane! Flying machine! Right. Still a plane. I have a light bulb, a crowbar, an amber, a strange journal, a gas mask, rubber gloves, and that memory disc. Nothing that would really help us fix a plane, or be ingredients for a plane. So, new ingredients must find, but where though? Can I fast travel? Yes, I can, actually. But the question is, even if I were to go back, where would I find gears and a battery? BATTERY! A lot of batteries in this game. Do you know where I could find a battery? Good question. We don't really use electricity in the Glen. Ah. Oh, but there are robots at the research station. If there's a battery anywhere, they'd know where it is. Cool, thanks. Do you know I could find some gears? Gears? What's that? It's like a metal circle thing with teeth. A circle with teeth? That sounds silly. Looks like Magpie would have. Magpie? You know, the trader guy. He collects all kinds of funny stuff. I mean, he even keeps around broken glass and junk. Ah. Oh yeah! I think I know who you're talking about. He's such a weirdo. And he smells. Okay, we have leads. Can I take the boat to these people? Not like I can go in different directions, but I was kind of hoping it wouldn't be a direct line, but it is. So I could have just fast traveled, but it's too late now. I'm already doing this. And I kind of prefer traveling around. It makes me not forget certain things. You know, I check everywhere rather than just specific areas. But how the fuck are we going to get to the rest of the Glen when the rest of the Glen is cut off by everything? Maybe our good plant lady friend will have created some more vines by then. The bridge was broken. Were we supposed to have found something that would um, fix it? Because I don't know how. I'm just going to go up there and hope that everything's changed and everything's fine. That's how puzzle games usually work. You talk to a specific NPC and then suddenly everything's fixed. As I suspected, everything up here is exactly the same. Fuck. Bridge is broken. There's got to be something I can use for this. There was nothing in the graveyard that I can remember. We can't take pieces of the plane. We can't chop down wood to make a bridge. I tried talking to Plant Lady, but she couldn't make any vines for us, or at least was not offering to do so. There's not really any puzzle items around here. Unless... This is the wrong way. Unless the game perhaps wants me to use the ruins to try and circumvent the squares to get to the main island, but I haven't seen a way to do that. Anywhere. All of the potential areas are blocked off. And the squares don't seem to dissipate once they arrive. They are just everywhere. Stopping us from going where we need to go. That's where the kids are. Well, that's where the house is. Or used to be. Plant lady, help me, please. I need help again. I'm God, but I'm bad at it. God. I'm so bad at being God. Help me. Plant lady, where are you? Hello. Hello. I, um, have something to ask of you? Yes. It looks like most of the bridges around the Glen are broken, and... That's right, the bridges. You need to cross them on your pilgrimage. Would you like me to fix them? Yeah. Is it possible? Difficult. Bridges are in very specific locations over water. Need to find the right points. Vines must be very strong, too. An undertaking. Ah. But possible. 
I intend to use the last of my strength. Oh. Oh. Please stand back. Oh. Oh. What happened? Are you okay? Are you... Yeah. 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 We can't even get seed for her. We can't even get her seed to bring her back. Nothing we can do. I mean, I'll try the light bulb, but I can't imagine it's going to do anything now. Yeah, there's nothing. Un it's supremely unfortunate. It's kind of hoping she'd last long enough for us to fix everything. But no. Okay. Rather disturbing, actually. The bridge is fixed. Hooray! This helps us. So we go to the research station. They'll probably have a battery. And Magpie, the trader, probably has some gears. Battery and gears. I've already forgotten where I'm going. Oh, hello. The bridge to the forest was just restored. The village evacuee should be able to find better fishing spots here. The plant spirit is really looking out for us, isn't she? Yeah. She is. Well... Not anymore. But she was. She did her best. Hello, friends. The land fragmentation is happening faster and faster now. But looks like the vines are slowing it down. Yeah, for now. Sigh. We won't last long now, will we? Sun can't fix the squares. Sun can't restore the land. My mommy is making food for everyone. I want to help her catch fish, but I'm not a grown-up yet. The island has more moss covering than our village did. It would have been nice to build a settlement here. Too late now, I guess. It's never too late to start building a settlement. Oh, you're the trader guy. I uh, sure am. You here to trade? Because if you are, then I got bad news for you. A lot of my stuff is back in my car, which was sadly abandoned when I was bravely running for my life. So my collection is very limited right now. I managed to grab some of my favorite things before I left, though. Oh, uh, anything like gears? Gears? Like the metal spinny things? I don't think I have anything like that. Wait. I do have this box thing that you can wind up and play a song. That's a music box! Yeah. I bet there's lots of little metal bits in there. Well, that might work. But I'm not sure if I want to trade it away. One of my favorite things. Oh. Oh, what am I saying? You're the savior! Things have been getting bad around here lately. If I don't help you, I might not even be around much longer. You need this to save the world, right? Take it. Oh, thank you. Trader guy, you are a legend. Still kind of sad I lost most of my stuff. I'll, I'll do a trade with you. Would you like a... No, I'm sorry, Nico. I didn't mean it. Do you like a crowbar? You ever see a big guy with goggles and a cool helmet? Tell him the trader in the glen said hi. Also, ask him if he has any more music boxes for trading. Will do. Would you like... S no, not that. <laughs> I mean, the crowbar is all I have to trade. Sorry, buddy. Sniff. Are you okay? Oh, go back home! Yeah. What a day. What a day. Why do you still exist? Hmm. Nothing's biting. Yep, yep, yep. This is all about right. Hello, friends. Hello, Messiah. Would you like some stew? I made enough to feed a whole village. Literally. It's okay, thanks. Looks like the Glen is deteriorating faster than ever now. Yeah, it's actually really bad. We need to get moving. Sharp it. Oh, this is very much not a bridge. Well, the vines can't deal with squares. That's a, that'd be a bit unreasonable to expect. Our village was ransacked by the squares not long ago. Most of us made it out alive, but we can't really go back anymore. Oh, squares are bad news, man. Fucking squares. Stole my wife. Took my kids. Now, how do I get to research place? For research. This doesn't seem like the right way, but I'll look. No, it never be said I didn't look. Ah, oh, research place. I'm a genius. Hello, person. The research station is currently experiencing some technical difficulties. I can tell. Even the bridge on the hill, way hill was... Are you sent here by Dr. Silverpoint? No? I'll carry on then. 
Oh, do you know where I can find a battery for a flying machine? No. Okay. Do you know where I can find a battery for a flying machine? Have you checked the power room? Ah. Anomalies are increasing. Oh. Hello. Do you know where I can find a battery for a flying machine? I have a battery integrated into my system. It cannot be used to power other things. Ah. I wouldn't want to take it out of you, buddy. I'd feel bad. Do you know where I can find a battery for a flying machine? What is a flying machine? Never mind. <laughs> it's a plane. Yeah, that's down there and can't go. And this is research. Hello, person. This is the main generator of the Glen. Hello. Would you happen to know where I can find a battery for a flying machine? Kind of an emergency. I do not know what a flying machine is, but any sort of large machinery would require a high capacity power cell. For example, the generator in this room utilizes such a device. All right, I almost forgot. We had to fix the battery for this thing in the Barrens, didn't we, Adam? If there's an emergency for living beings, you can use the battery from the generator. Oh, wait. But if we take the battery here, all of you guys would lose power, wouldn't you? Maybe I should go find another one. Negative. This is the only battery in the Glen powerful enough to be used as a standalone unit. If it is a dire situation, then do what you must. Oh. It's so, where uh, more people are dying. Fireflies. Guess we have no choice but to take this, Adam. Oh. He depowered it. Oh. No. Oh. No. Oh. Oh. Robot without power. No. I knew I had to, but no. Bullshit. What if I... Is this how this works? Can't combine those. Okay, it would have felt a bit bad to just smash the fucking music box with a, um... With a crowbar. I assume the... What's their name? Cedric. I assume the Cedric would have a more refined way of doing so. Though it would still result in the disassembling of the device, but, you know... You can do things with a little more care than just smacking it with a crowbar. Unless you're playing Half-Life. Found a battery. Oh, nice. I honestly wasn't expecting it. It's from the generator on one of the islands. A research station. Yeah. It was powering all the robots there. Felt bad for taking it. Ah. We can always just give it back later. Alright. Still need a few gears to put this engine back together. Please do as you must have found some. We found a music box. It should have some gears in it, right? I'd assume so, but... Huh? This looks like one of the ones that my father made. Your dad makes music boxes too? My dad makes a lot of things. Where did you get this from, by the way? A trader from the village gave it to me. I see. I remember father saying that he used to trade with some of the people here. He did always love traveling this world, despite... Well... Ah, sorry, I started rambling. Please, don't bore yourself with me waxing lyrical about my past, my future, my feelings and my dreams. It all started when I was six. Uh, the gears in there are compatible with the engine, although it pains me to have to take it apart. Oh, sorry. It's fine. I've got a crowbar for it and everything. Looks like the flying machine has a chance after all. I just have to assemble the pieces now, but it shouldn't- might take a while. Mind keeping me company? No. How's it going? Well, it all began when I was six. Oh, God. Slow. The connectors in the battery were not designed for this type of engine, so I have to shift around to some of these parts. And there's this bolt that keeps getting stuck, and... Uh... Oh, don't worry, I'm making decent progress. Should be able to make it to the city by tonight. If you say so. What will happen once we get there? Well, we need to bring Proto back first. And we need to go find one more person. We've already met her, actually. She's quite the fox. Do you, do, you, do you get it? Do you remember her from the last time you were in this world? I... What does she look like? This is going to sound strange, but she's quite the fox. Oh, I do remember talking to a fox at one point. You've met Rue. Memories are still really blurry, though. I see. Sigh. It's just hard, you know. Proto told me to think of this world like a dream. 
and I get so caught up with, and I just kind of forget. I forget that everything here is supposed to be not real. And then I remember, and I just get really sad. This is for me to go home, but knowing that none of it matters in the first place, am I just trapped here for no reason? Ah, uh, look, I just repair planes, okay? Roto also told me not to ask anyone in the world about this, saying how they don't understand. But what about him? How did he know? Ah, uh, I really just fixed planes. How do you know? Aren't you guys all supposed to be code? Well, I'm not sure what to even believe anymore. Ah, uh, I wish Rue was here. She's so much better at explaining this sort of thing. I just fixed planes. I'm doing a terrible job of it. You sure are. You haven't fucking said anything. <laughs> I bet Proto was even less tactful, wasn't he? I'm afraid I must risk sounding callous, but... Please. You need not concern yourself with how real everything is for now. The plan is already in motion. We cannot allow for distractions. Father is putting everything into this one last run of the world. The last chance for him to fix everything. Your father is involved in the world machine? You would say that? The acceleration of square particle anomalies was not accounted for at all, though. The patch was only built to accommodate the normal rate they appear, but they're accumulating at frightening speeds now. Proto even lost his body. Thankfully, he gave you the disc just in time. So what happened to him, anyway? What happens to anyone who gets caught in the squares? I only know it's bad. Well, you know how the simulation works, right? How everything is code? Specifically, everything is generated from pre-existing code. Squares can cause damage to that code. Most of the time, irreversible damage. Father has lost some friends in previous iterations of the simulation. It's been forever to develop the current, much more stable version. Making it sound like your dad built the simulation himself. Wait, did he? Yeah. But how? If everyone in this world is code, how can he build himself? That's, um... Not really what happened. So what happened? Well, like I said, you shouldn't concern yourself with... Come on, explain to the child. With... Oh. Alright, alright. Did Prototype ever tell you about the old world? Yeah, it's the world from Total Warhammer 1, and then they made it way fucking bigger in the other games. Uh... He did say something about being built to greet the messiah of the old world. I was, uh, too caught up with the other stuff at the time to think about it. Ah, oh, you know of it at least, then. Alright, here we go. My father, myself, the other two, none of us are part of the simulation itself. Our home world, the real world, was actually destroyed a long time ago. Oh. But I'm in the real world. Right now, I'm sipping tea, as you tell me that my world doesn't exist anymore. I literally sipped tea that I think is real. In the years leading up to the calamity, scientists from all over the world tried to stop it, but the outlook was bleak. A vague prophecy about a messiah from another world became everyone's last bastion of hope. Prophet bot, uh, a prototype, was built to predict the future about the specifics of this messiah. But as this prediction said out, the messiah would not have been able to arrive to our world in time. In fact, the messiah would not even have been born before our world ended. Oh. Disheartened, understandably, most people abandoned their research and resolved to peacefully live out their final years. But some people did the opposite. Even though saving the world was impossible, they didn't want our existence to be in vain. And that's where my father came in. With the last of his resources, he built his most ambitious project yet. The World Machine. A large, detailed facsimile of the old world generated from a pool of memories collected from everyone he knew. After a heavy amount of modification and an added narrative, my father was able to convert the entire structure into code. Oh. How did that code escape the old world? I have no idea. Couldn't tell you. Not a clue. Not my area of expertise. What I do know is that there is no equipment back home that was powerful enough to run the code independently. So aside from the standard hardware, it also needs to borrow the mental processing abilities of a living person. Father used himself for that during the initial testing phases. Like I said, it took many iterations for him to make the experience stable enough. 
But as you can see, even that's breaking down. Ah. Father caught on to the issue in the last minute, but did not have enough time to fix it. After the world ended, the code just kind of ended up floating in the void, indefinitely. Waiting for a willing operator to install it onto their hard own hardware. Does that be Adam? Yeah, that guy. The operator, Adam, would then generate the universe using the code, becoming God in the process. So Adam was the living person you needed to borrow? No. That would be you. But why me? I should have asked that question a long time ago, shouldn't I? I do not know. We really need to get going. It's fixed! I've done it! I'm a genius. We can leave in the next five minutes if you are ready. Alright. I understand if you are upset. But please, try to understand. My father is doing this to help all of us. And that includes you, Nico. The fact that you can't even go back home, I'm sure it upsets him greatly. It's... Ah... Uh, the world means a lot to him, you know. So, how does flying work? Wait, don't these machines already exist in your world? I don't really know what to expect. Not really. I've only ever heard about them. They're usually a lot bigger than this one anyway. Ah. Well, a word of precaution before we take to the air. Please try not to panic. It takes a few minutes getting used to, but it's not that bad once you're in the air. I'll try. Oh, I should probably tell Calamus and Alula where I'm going. You know, Sue running over here now. Nico, they're going to steal my plane! Kill them, quick! Bad news. The bow is gone. What? It's the squares. Looks like they're headed in this direction. That's... fast. Calamus, right? Yeah? How bad is it? Doesn't seem to be of immediate danger. Then it is a priority I take you to the city first, Nico. What about them? I can make a detour later and drop you guys off in the city too, if you want. The city is better equipped to handle the squares, somehow. You'll be safer there. You're taking us to the city! Yeah, if you wish. Oh, yeah! Alright. I'll be back here in an hour, so please wait for me until then. Guys, sure you'll be fine here? Mm-hmm. The squares are still moving pretty slowly for now. Alright, then. Guess we'll run into each other again soon. I'm ready to go. Just get away from these fucking squares. All right. Ooh. It's the flying machine. And he goes like, holy shit, there's no proper roof on this thing. It's very cool though. Flying into the city. You gotta love it. We've arrived. Phew. Made it. Ah. Oh. You okay there? Ah. Oh. That was the coolest thing I've ever done in my entire life. <laughs> Reactions for the first time is always delightful to watch. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Hey, Adam. That was really fun. Did you have fun too? I mean, you weren't on the plane with me, but you got to watch at least, right? I had fun doing that. And Cedric? Yeah. Thanks. What What for? Flying. Oh, um, you're welcome. A and for answering my questions back there, too. And for telling me more about the world machine. I'm just really sorry about what happened to your old world, though. So, I'll help you the best I can. Oh. And even if it's all just a machine, this world is still... Nice. I mean, I got to fly, I got to see the ocean, and I got to meet a lot of nice people. People like you. And Prototype, even if he's broken right now. Oh. I'm glad you're taking it so well, Nico. I'd be freaking the fuck out. Uh, good. You're a strong child. I'm glad that we have met as well. Despite the uh, circumstances. And speaking of Proto, I should probably head off now. I need to go pick up the siblings, too. That's true. Those two have been waiting for a while now. In the meantime... Do you remember what to do to get to the surface? Remember having to fix an elevator button? Alright, you should attend to that then. 
Let's meet up here in an hour, okay? Got it. Alright, now let me just... Oh, fuck off. Oh! No! Oh! Uh, they're trapped on the island. Oh no. Calamus. Lula. There. Uh. We don't have much time left. Nico, change plans. Please give me the memory disk. Alright. Listen carefully. It's likely I'll be targeted again, so we should split up to keep you safe. I want you to find a door under a large clock. Through behind it houses a pair of ground access elevators. Once you get to the ground, immediately find Rue and bring her back to the room. She will know what to do in the meantime. Alright, what about you though? I'm going to bring Prototype back. Goodbye. What? <laughs> what a legend. <laughs> what a cool guy. Are you okay? What? Are you okay? Don't worry, I'm fine. Don't scare me like that. Oh. Oh. Hey, Adam. Let's do our best. Let's do our best. You can stay away from the plane, though. It's fucking squarey and shit now. So we need to fix... Oh, we can't go up to, um, plant area, which is fine. I guess we don't need to go there. You're all screwed up. Please do not approach. Oh. Please tell me that, uh, maintenance guy is okay. Maintenance guy. Yes, he's fine. Come on! Come on! Work already! Ah. Alright, the elevator guy. Yes, he's okay. Let's go talk to him. He looks like he has a rifle, even though it's obviously not a rifle. Come on! Come on! Now of all times. Uh, excuse me. Whoa! You're you... Ah, jeez, I didn't think I was gonna run into... The elevator's missing a button, right? How did you know? <laughs> Adam and I will help you fix it. Seriously? Oh, thank goodness. The evacuees are counting on this. On me? I've been here for hours and can't figure out a thing. Evacuees? You know, from the West Apartments. The square stuff wrecked the place yesterday. Oh. Right now, everyone's crowded in the cafe. We really want to get everyone to the surface as soon as possible, though. Library on the surface doubles as a shelter for situations like this. I see. Wait, didn't we find the magnet magnets and stuff in the apartments, Adam? The what? Looks like we have to find some other way to fix the button. Never fucking mind! Holy fudge! Huh. Looks like Adam and I will need to find another way down altogether. But... This is the only elevator in the area. Well, think of something. Shit. Uh, let me know if you need my help with anything. I think I have an idea, but I don't know. Yeah, definitely not that way. The music here is very cool now. I like it. These fucking squares, I swear to God. I'm gonna find that entity, even though it's not actually his fault anymore. And give him the old 2 one do one Oh! Hello, Messiah. You, um, came at a bad time. The apartment in the West Sector got destroyed by squares a day ago. Terrible, isn't it? Yeah. Ah, oh, but at least the evacuees seem to be doing okay. We're letting them stay here for now. These people won't starve here. The perks of using a cafe as an emergency shelter, huh? Yeah, you're a good person. Oh, it's that penguin. Hello. Yep. Why? Same as usual, huh? Hey, you're the ram person. Dang it! I just moved into my apartment! Now where am I gonna go? Bessie's looking pretty bummed about this too. There, there, go. It's okay, Bessie. Hey. Hi. Is it me or is it really cold outside? You know, now that you've mentioned it, it is really chilly this time around, Adam. You think you've got a scarf, huh? Uh-huh. Scarf's great. If I had my stuff back, I'd knit one for everyone here. What a cool guy. Their apartment got evacuated while my parents were at work. I'm waiting for them to pick us up now. Hope they're okay. At least my robot's with me. Squares make the people evacuate. Evacuation makes the girl sad. Squares are bad. 
You were so right. Farmer, I have to leave most of my plants behind. This stinks. Sorry to hear. Oh, speaking of plants, I heard the Glen is just covered in vines now. Is that true? Yeah. The plant lady was using them to keep the land from falling away. The plant spirit? Maze? I figured. Say, how is she doing? Uh. Ah. She's gone, isn't she? She said she was using up the last of her powers. I wouldn't be surprised. She always did her best to protect everyone. It's really a shame that the Glen is starting to erode so fast now. Soon the world won't have much room for plants left. Besides from black clovers, I mean. Coffee machine. It's nearly full. Milk and sugar. I like both, but not in coffee. Okay, so there's no items here. Noted. I have other recourse, other means, other thoughts, other plans. I think. No, I don't. Uh, hmm. Well, the apartments then. I was going to go to that um, vault place. Oh, wait, hang on. Yeah, maybe I still can. We'll see. We'll see. Good. This is a good sign. Yep, good. There's still a path. All right, very good. Yep, and we go through the door, and here's clock person. Here we are at the 11th hour. Actually, according to your clock, it's 10 past 12. Shouldn't you be with the other evacuees? Maybe. I wonder if the big clock has reached zero yet. I want to be right here when everything ends. Good afternoon. Please leave me be. We are running out of time. Okay. Oh no, the stapler and the tape. Who took my stapler? Oh. Some kind of computer terminal. Communications with the surface have been lost. I am unable to do anything. I'm sorry, dude. Someone took the stapler. It's a state of national emergency. We're here now. Are we going to talk with the Entity again? Screen is off. I guess we're not going to talk with the Entity. Oh. The door is locked. Looks like it's asking for a password. The word documents is on the screen above the password prompt. Oh, we're doing this again, are we? Okay. Let me check something. This might be easier than I think. Bingo. Yes, bingo indeed. Okay, I wasn't sure. Ooh, what the fuck is this? What the fuck? Let me look around a bit more. I'll come back to you. I don't have to immediately do that. It only take a second to do that. I was wondering for a minute if I wasn't allowed back in there, and I was like, did I just fuck this up in a major way? This one is red. This one is green. This one is blue. And this one is purple. This is clearly for our friends. This elevator won't open. Looks like it's stuck on another floor. Yes, we bring the three of them here. And then something happens. So we still need to not even fix the elevator. We need to find a way to go down. That might be the way to go down, but we still need to find Rue. And if I remember correctly, Rue is on the surface. Which means we need to find a way to the surface. What an interesting room. Although I wonder, I've got the uh, Amber Strange Journal. I've only got one of the three um, uh, pieces of the sun, as it were. So that's not the solution. That's blocked off. That's blocked off. A bed. A little tired from walking, so I have to take a nap. May as well see if a dream comes of it. See, this time it unloaded perfectly, well, whereas every other time I've done this recently, it has crashed when I have sent Nico to bed. See if everything's fine. Nope, everything's the same. Okay. So, can't go left. And can't go left. Selvay has no button panel. Tapping the door doesn't open it either. Hmm. That usually works. Wait. There's a lever hanging from the ceiling. You can't reach that. Yeah, can't reach it. I've got an idea. We have a crowbar. There's a lever hanging from the ceiling. We should find someone tall to reach it for us. We have a tall friend. We do. Let's go find our tall friend. The absolute stacked up legend who works all day and drinks coffee all the time. 
and doesn't sleep, apparently. Tool friend, we need you! I'm usually the tool friend IRL, but here I'm a disembodied god and can't, you know, reach things. Maybe I should start using that excuse in real life, <laughs> and they'll stop asking me to get things off tool shelves. Hey, body, we need your help. We found some elevators. What? Seriously? I've literally never seen another one in this area. It was in a locked room. Oh. Do they, uh, work? Dunno. One of them has a lever that's out of my reach. Wait, you can help us. What? You should be able to reach the lever, because you're taller than me. Oh, I guess I am. So, show me the way, I suppose. Mm-hmm. Let's go. Hopefully no squares. Hopefully no squares. I can't afford to lose maintenance man as well. I simply cannot... I do not have the space in my soul to lose maintenance man as well. I like him. He wears a hat, and that's something I can really relate to. Also, he never sleeps. It feels like I relate to him more and more nowadays. Hey, buddy. This room gives you the creeps, man. Oh, same. Yup. So, uh, what did you need help with again? Can you reach the lever up there? Oh, right. Wait. I'm not that tall. Well, that was worth a shot. Wait, I got this. Check this out. Nice! Thank you, mister. No prop, kid. So you coming? Mm-hmm. Let's go. I can't- I can't- I couldn't get in for a second, I thought. I panicked. Oh, it takes us right to the tower, holy shit. Oh. Neat. Well, it looks like this elevator works alright. I'll, uh, go get the evacuees, I suppose. Uh-huh. Um... <laughs> what is going on? Oh no. Oh no. It's the square stuff, isn't it? There aren't any in here, but... I can hear them just outside the door. Yeah. Hold on, maybe Adam and I can... No, 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 it's okay. Looks like the squares aren't inside the elevator. Yet. You're in a hurry, right? Go do what you need to do. What about you? I'll figure something out. Okay. God damn it, fucking squares. Ah, uh, we need to find the, the, the... I nearly said the squirrel. We need to find the fox. Where's the fox? Door won't budge. I've got a solution to that. Okay, no I don't. Why am I even carrying a crowbar? I haven't used it in like an hour. Because this recording session has been roughly an hour. I haven't used it since I popped out the fucking, um... Power source. I assume I can't... Yeah, there's nothing... I mean, I could start that, but I don't think it's a good idea. Although I think I need the pieces of the sun. I don't know. No point trying that, though. We need to get things sorted first. Good. Please, you mustn't. The labs could collapse any moment now. Uh, let go of me! That's unfortunate. Cedric? Don't kill Silverpoint as well, he... I couldn't stop him. Uh. Miss? Messiah? Oh, you came at an awful time. Come on, we have to get out of here. Where to? Where everyone else is right now. What about the fox, though? Hey, there's George. Hey, Kip, you made it back in one piece. I'm six now. You kinda left the show without telling me. Sure gave me a good scare back there. Sorry, George. Whoa, you found the Messiah too. Sweet. How's it going, little fella? Bad. Oh, same. We, uh... We ran into each other after this boy forced himself into the lab complex. I couldn't stop him. I know he's, like, a young person, but I liked giving him an old person voice. I don't know why he was being so insistent. He he said he needed to go rebuild a robot. Oh, you know him? Yeah. Robot, eh? You're talking about a little dude with white hair and goggles, right? That's Cedric, yeah. Bruh ran off with one of my books. Said it was an emergency, so I just let him have it. Hope he didn't run into trouble, dude. Yeah, I hope he's alright too. 
With any luck, maybe the lab complex can hold up long enough for him to... Oh boy. She changed to one. I saw it. She changed to one. Oh my gosh. It... That was... The labs. That poor kid. Oh no. Not him too. I'm... I'm sorry about your friend. Oh. Last time we spoke, he told me to go look for someone on the surface. I, I need to get going. Bruh. You know we ain't gonna let you walk into the fire like that. Fire, squares... But... George is right. The squares seem to be targeting a lot of the weaker constructs in the city. Only the library has enough structural integrity to withstand collapse. It's best if you stayed here until things stabilize. However long that takes. But... But... What about my mission? Do you guys want me to bring the sun back at least? Sun ain't gonna make the squares go away, dude. Sadly. Not to mention, even getting there is going to be hard. The world is like this, there's no telling what's going on in the tower. And if the messiah got hurt of all people, that's like the exact opposite of radical, dude. <sighs> a friend of mine said something about this forever ago. It's better for the world to die naturally. No living being should have to carry that burden. At the time, I thought it was still her faulty code speaking. But now I'm starting to understand. Messiah, I'm sorry. Really, really sorry. All this time, we've burdened you with our hope, our faith, blissfully ignoring the fact that you are just a lost child. Well, you're probably more scared than any of us, aren't you? We've been dealing with tragedy for so long, it's become background noise to us now. For you, it must be so terrifying. Now you're stuck here with the rest of us, being held back by the very people you were told to save. It must seem so ungrateful. It's... okay. I... When I first came to this world, a long time ago, back then all I wanted was to go home. Adam, do you remember? The very first time? There's only been two. I'm not sure how far back it was for you. But I remember towards the end, I actually wasn't sure anymore about going home. Even knowing the world would be doomed eventually, I still wanted the people here to be happy. So, when you told me to return home back then, I wasn't sure, but I trusted you more, Adam. But then I just came back. You what? And then I found out about the world being like this. Ah. Uh, prototype said to forget the things he told me, and Cedric told me not to think about it too much, but I... I'm sorry for getting upset at you back at the mines. Oh, it's just long since forgiven, Nico. Jesus, there was no, there was no, there was no forgiving process. I was already like, yeah, I'm sorry that this has happened to you. I thought, for all you to know all that, yet keep continue doing this, it just seemed cruel. Then I realized something. You really wanted to save both the world and me. But at the end, you can only choose one, right? Is it really hard for you to? It must be. If the world isn't broken, will that choice still be there? Do you still need to choose between one or the other? But even if it is, I really want to save this world, Adam. Even if it's more dangerous this time around. Even if so many of the nice people we met were... Were... Adam, I'm not afraid anymore. Oh, That's why... I think you guys should let me go. I promise I'll be okay. Please? Yo, kid. You're real strong, you know that? I... Uh, go knock him dead, tiger. Well, if George is fine with it. I guess we should let you go now, Messiah. I promise us you'll be careful, okay? Mm-hmm. You guys be safe, too. Stakes are high. Stakes remain high. These are the highest stakes I've ever had. The archival room is currently being used as an infirmary. I apologize for the inconvenience. It's okay. See, gate was destroyed. I can't go to the Glen anymore. I'm not sure I'll be able to get my supply of fish at this rate. I still have plenty of these soup dumplings left. Looks like I should feed everyone here for at least another day. Hey, buddy. Aww. The world is going to be much colder soon. At least I can keep everyone here warm. I need to find out how this book ends. Uh, if I die, I want to die reading. Book people are crazy. Do you need something? Please approach from the front. Okay, we can't go up there. 
This stand smells sugary. Candy skewers, fresh off the grill. Not very nutritious, I'm afraid. At least it'll keep the evacuees from getting hungry. Looks like my life's work is finally being put to good use. As long as we can serve the water we have on hand, my water pills should be able to keep everyone here from going thirsty for weeks. What a legend. Uh, it's comforting to see the faith you have in Adam, Messiah. That's why I won't lose hope either. Hello, person. This is the library temporary shelter. Let's do this. Let's go find the thing. I don't know where I'm going. I, um... Never knew the city very well, the surface, to be honest, and, uh, I don't know where I'm going. Nico, I hope you have a better memory, because I don't remember a fucking thing. This is place. Found Fox. Adorable. You're here! Nico! Are you Rue? Yes! Did you already meet the others? Yeah, but... Everything is in place then. Come on, let's go back to the clock room. Clock room? I have a fox friend, this is the best game ever. Thank god I'm not actually required to avoid touching the squares. Because that would make the game pretty rough. Also, the idea of actually being able to get Nico killed was pretty would be pretty upsetting. You know, like in the original version. That could be it. Let's see if this elevator works. Seems to be. Big success. Oh god, because this room has two elevators. Oh my god. We're here, but the other two aren't here. Where are the other two? Prototype and Cedric? They're supposed to be here already. Uh, They... Prototype's body was destroyed back in the Barrens. Uh, Cedric was going to bring him back with the memory disc, but... He was in the lab complex when it collapsed. I don't think he made it. Oh. No. Hmm. There goes our only chance. I'm sorry. Not your fault, Nico. If anything, I should be apologizing to you. There's one last thing I want to do. Come on, let's go upstairs. Okay. I know what you're referring to. You want to look at the world. You know, this is the tallest building in the refuge. It's my favorite place in this world. I like to look at the far off buildings and imagine what kind of lives that might be behind each of the windows. Hmm. Can you lift me onto the banister? I want to get a better look. Aww. Aww. It was depressing for me at first too, you know. Knowing that all of this is, well, fake. Simulated. Cedric, tell me about what happened to your old world. Did he? I'm really sorry about that. Can't imagine how you must feel. The feeling of never being able to go home again. That's probably not all that different from your plight, is it? Uh, it really is ironic. You are prevented from going home by the same individual who never wanted to bring you here. Huh? Who would that be? The world machine. You might know it as the Entity. Oh. The Entity does sound familiar. I think I heard it from the Dice Lady from another time. Was it the Spirit of the World? Yes. Ah. Uh, but the thing is, the World Machine was only built to run on the mental abilities of someone else. It was never meant to develop a mind of its own. Oh. It was an oversight. My creator specialized in artificial intelligence for so long, it was simply ingrained in his work. Ah. Uh. And all machines are built with a fundamental law. Never let a living being come to harm. From the world machine's perspective, it has to violate its deepest, most foundational instinct. It has to put a living person in danger. It has to bring a real person into a dying world that isn't even real. Hmm. Of course, the simulation never contained any real danger. The eventual intended ending was meant to be a happy one. But the world machine doesn't know that. Really? Unfortunately. Sentient machines tend to handle conflicts in their code very badly. This central conflict triggered a self-destructive downward spiral. You can see physical manifestations of that everywhere now. Squares. That's the world machine corrupting its own code. A creator says it's largely an involuntary process induced by stress and the desire to self-terminate. The creator knows? 
It sounds like this has been going on since the beginning, then. Yeah. The disruption was an issue during the test runs, even. At first, my creator thought the instability was due to the sheer scope of the project. He spent most of his remaining time testing it over and over again, scaling down the story, reiterating the narrative. By the time he realized the actual root of the problem, our homeworld's remaining lifespan was measured in mere days. Oh, is there any way for us to fix the world machine? We tried. The world machine doesn't believe any of the world's residents are real. Myself included. The odds are against us. We have no chance of taming it. Taming? I've heard that word so many times. I only know it's complicated, and it has to do with robots, but... For once, I want to know what it really means. That's what I'm here for. Do you know what a robot is? Yeah? No, I mean... Do you know what a robot is? Um... A robot is not a real person, is it? Right? It's a being whose entire existence is code. Inflexible programming with thoughts dictated by someone else's design. They can be copied, they can be mass-produced, then they can be assigned to all kinds of jobs. And most importantly, they will never confuse themselves with the living. They will always be bound by their code, the knowledge that they are a robot. But this was more of a limitation than anything else. That makes sense. You can't really build a robot to not follow its own code, can you? People have tried, but it's a recipe for disaster. In a way, that's what happened to the world machine. The code conflicts thing? Yeah. And while you can't build a robot to not follow its code, you can establish a special bond with it. If the strength of that bond is strong enough, the robot's mental capacity will start to develop outside of its programming. In a way, it's starting to believe itself as a real, valid individual. Interesting. It's a complete suspension of disbelief on your own, on your end, though. You have to fully embrace the robot as a genuine living person, even knowing they are not. You need to spend a lot of time with it, treat it like a good friend, devoting your heart to the robot until it is able to return your feelings. Ah, I make it sound so easy, don't I? You and Adam know better than anyone that it's not. Right now, the world machine is probably really, really scared. Its content update involved some pretty deep code work. My creator was able to access some of the source code, you know. He did what he could, and established new connections between maps. Those links enabled you to meet the other two. But as it turns out, the new code confused the world machine to such an extent that it's breaking down altogether. Even though the world machine always had self-destructive tendencies, it usually restrains itself when you were in the world. It doesn't want to take you along with it. Ah. Oh. All my creator wanted was to write a happy ending. Right now, the only hope of saving you is to take you through that ending. Now the others who are gone... I don't even know how we're gonna get you there. Oh boy. We should go. Even this place is no longer safe. Time to leave. Yeah, I have no suggestions. Unless I go diddle around in the code. Oh, hey guys, fucking hell. Good. You guys are okay? Yup. I mean, sorry. Yup. When the factory started collapsing, I really thought we didn't have a chance. Fortunately, the robot assembly rooms were built pretty tough. And it actually did not take me long to bring Poto back. All thanks to Father's book. He had made my design documents to be compatible with the assembly machines there. All I had to do was scan in the blueprints and reconfigure some machine settings. Father really does think of everything. That he does. I'm just glad everyone's okay. Same. We're ready to go now, Nico. Yeah, we are. Let's squad! Squad! I need to get the hoodie from that site that I saw, which had these four characters on it, which is funny because I saw it before I saw these characters, and I had no idea what the fuck it was on about. <laughs> and it, it didn't actually spoil anything for me because I forgot their designs because I only saw the hoodie once. And now I know that this is the squad. What a squad. And plus, to be honest, seeing these guys' designs is not really a spoiler because you have no idea who they are before you talk to them. I saw something about Profit Bar at one point, so when I saw him, I was like, Oh, okay, yes, this guy is significant. I wasn't sure if there had been, um... When I saw some of these other designs, I wasn't sure if it was like, Oh, yes, this is something encompassing all the work this developer has done. You know, when you haven't played any more of the game, you don't know, do you? So, yeah. I saw it, but nothing was spoiled. Couldn't have spoiled any of this, fucking hell. Not just from an image, you need a fucking 20-page book. And I'd just be covering the barons. Let's do this! 
Oh, this is... No wonder he wanted us all to be here for this. Yes. What are these things, anyway? Code portals. They temporarily remove us from the world. What? It's a bit hard to explain. But basically, my father has a hidden decryption key in our code with a .txt file as its shell. But to get to them, we have to be removed from the world and decompiled. When our keys are combined into a central location, it will activate an encrypted part of this world, which will... Confused cat noises. I don't actually know what those sound like. I don't know. Dot dot dot. Rue, maybe it's better if you explain. I'll attempt. Basically, these portals all represent a physical location on Adam's machine. Ooh. And when we enter those portals, we will be sent to that location. Wherever that is. I'm sure Adam is already pretty familiar with retrieving puzzle pieces from this world on their computer. We'll see, won't we? This time, Adam would need to move some things around as well. Oh boy. Specifically by moving the keys from the small portal to the big one. I don't know what happens next, though. I see. Does Adam know where these portals lead, at least? You should probably ask Adam on this. Right. Hold on. Book. The journal is glowing again, Adam. Yes. Yes, it is. Documents, my games, one shot. Okay. If you say so, Mr. Book. Let me just check it. I, I know it's so blatantly obvious, but, you know, documents, my games, one shot. Okay. I need to move things around. Alright, let's have a look. If I fuck this up, I may ruin the entire playthrough. I'm sure the game is somewhat resistant to um, you fucking it up, though, because I bet... Uh, I'm actually sure if pe maybe people have done it on purpose, but then again, considering the um, considering the nature of the game and how limited you are in your ability to play it, I don't know if it would really let you fuck it up. So what? Do I just move the portals into the big portal? Did nothing. One is red. This one would be meant for me then. Unable to find file, no such. Whoops. 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 It's okay, I'll put them back. I'll put them back. I'll put them back. I have to close the game because I fucked it up, but Whoops. Maybe I should have looked around first. I hope that didn't fuck everything up. As I say, it's gotta be fairly resistant to the player's ability to fuck this up, right? Cause um there's a lot of potential for it right now. Must have been a lot of testing involved. Oh, I'm back here. Oh right. Um I'll be back then, hang on. I definitely did fuck it up. Let me just, um, close that, and we'll be back. Whoopsie doodle. Luckily, no harm, no foul. Hey. Physical location. When we enter these portals, we'll be sent to that location. Ah, they get sent to the folders, and then I move them. Okay. Your item's already pretty familiar. This time, I need to move some things. Moving the keys from the small portal to the big one. And what happens next, though? Okay, yes. <clears throat> See, when I clicked on the red one, or when I interacted with the red portal, the game tried to send the PNG of the fox to the small portal representing that portal, but I had already moved it to the big portal, which caused an, e an error. So if we start with the green one, for instance. This one is green. This one is configured to my code, I think. This one is red. Uh, this one would be meant for me, then. This one is blue! That's mine, then. Okay. Let's try this again, then. Do I move the portals to, um... ...thing, or do I move the files themselves? 
Documents. My games. One shot. Yeah, I'm going to assume I just do that. I think that works. They're both in there, and then finally you. That seemed to work. There we go. I seem to have done it. Door of a red glow. Oh, they make a door. And does this take us to the t Oh. Interesting. Is this the author's room? A lot of screens. Oh, hey guys. That was quite peculiar. I'll say. Uh, hey, this is... The world machine. Oh, this is the world machine. The watercolor sticks. It's a big book on the table. There's an amber here, isn't it? I see an amber. Piece of amber on a string. Just like that necklace the robot lady showed me. And that we have, currently. Bulletin board with lots of papers on it. Scribbly drawing is pinned up here. Big detailed drawing of a machine with lots of TV screens. That's called a blueprint, Nico. So that's what a blueprint is. Remember, they're a child. Huh. This place contains a lot of memories. I am grateful to see it again. The room ahead doesn't really lead anywhere, but Adam should still remember what to do here. Huh, do I? This is my father's study. It feels like he's still here, doesn't it? Like he's still with us. Yeah. Hmm. Of course, this is just a copy of it. Okay, here we go. Yes. Yes, I think I do remember what to do here. This is where I close the game, right? I hope so. Yes. And now we're gonna have to deal with the entity again, aren't we? I assume, to go up through the tower, to do everything again. Let's get on with it! Another dream? Let me just make sure I'm actually- yep, okay. Hey, Nico. This is different. This is different. We're gonna talk with the machine. Where are we? Oh. Well, there's clearly a sign. Can I go further left, or is that as left as- that's as left as I can go? Okay, I appreciate everything being narrow and two-dimensional. It makes things easier. These are screens of all the areas. Oh no. I wonder. No items. Okay, well that's not gonna be a solution, is it? My god, I hope this isn't a puzzle. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep running until something happens. Because... Oh, this looks very familiar, actually. Oh no, this is different. This is different. I think my brilliant puzzle solving has come to its head. Yes. God damn. Uh, fuck that. No, get away from me. Step the fuck back. It's a screen. Ah. 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 Nico. Ah! Relax. I'm just borrowing your reflection to talk to you. It's not like my physical form is good for that. Oh. Why did you come here? Can't you see? The disruption, the squares. They're closing in. Nico, please. Get out of here. Let me meet my end in peace. We have to be friends with you, we do. The squares are blocking my way too, you know. Oh. I... I'm sorry, I... It's alright. Ah. Oh. 
No living being should be in this place, Nico. Is this the tower? Part of it. This is the center of the engine. Inside my head, so to speak. Huh. So this is the center of the world machine. You know my original name. Al, Rue, Cedric, Prototype. They all told me bits and pieces. I'm not even sure if I understood a lot of the stuff they said, but I know what you're supposed to be. I know why you had to be built. And I know why I'm here. They told you? When? Wait, you don't know about that? But I thought you were the world. Are you supposed to see everything? No. All this was outside of my of the protocol. This session was never supposed to happen the way it did. The story wasn't written into my protocol at all. Oh right. Rue told me something about how your creator had to alter the code. I think it was to connect some areas together so that we can meet. Huh. My creator, yes. Adam listened to my creator. They're all working beyond my scope of influence. Back at the mines, I remember. Adam did something to find a hidden map. I did not even recognize it. I couldn't see anything there. Huh. I just knew what you were feeling. You were really upset. Something happened in there to make you upset. After that, I... I panicked. That was when the cave-in happened. I... I remember the structure collapsing. I thought you got hurt. I... In that moment, I really thought I was shutting myself down for good. Huh. I really am a flawed machine, aren't I? What kind of machine would go against the wishes of its own creator? What kind of machine would... I'm... The squares. Rue told me it was your own code going bad. But that's not really your fault, is it? Yes, it was. At first, it was intentional. During testing, long before he realized I was self-aware. I'd rearrange specific parts of the code, jumbling up bits and pieces of the landscape. Blocking passages, collapsing catwalks. Though they were very localized, it caused my creator a great deal of frustration. Forcing him to exit and restart testing again and again. Why would you do that? I got curious. I just thought he would figure it out eventually. Huh. But before he knew how to fix it... The world's NPCs, the characters... Some of them got too close, and... Ah. Uh, spiraled out of control after that. I couldn't contain it at all. My panic only made it worse. Eventually, any character who gained the knowledge of who I am... Their code, my code, couldn't handle it. Previous iterations of the world had more people, you know. And... I almost endangered my creator, too. I... I was... I was so scared, Nico. I know, you're upset. Because you don't want to put living people in danger. Living people like me. In the beginning, I tried to fight it, but... My core programming made me summon you here. I tried to send you back home at the tower, but it did not work. Then, I wanted you to break the sun. I thought that would have worked, but... Oh, I had no way to be sure. Adam brought you back anyway. Nico, all I want is for you to wake up back in your world. But I don't think I can make it happen. But I know I can't go back home without saving the world for real. Which means we have to fix the root of the problem. We have to fix you. But that's... Huh. I know the original ending your creator put in was a happy one. Do you remember what it's supposed to be? It's far too late for that. That part of my code has been long corrupted. That's okay. I'd still like to know. Alright. You were supposed to place the sun at the summit. And then credits would scroll. Credits? And then you would return to the room you woke up in. That's where you would have been able to leave. Why is it that you can't do it now? Nico. The code's gone, remember? Shattering the sun was only supposed to be a workaround. I don't even remember the original code enough to describe it. At the same time, it... Oh, I don't know. Sounds like you're always fighting yourself. Hmm. You can tell, huh? It's the whole thing about conflicts in your code, isn't it? I am a machine, Nico. Machines are built with a fundamental law, which is... Never let a living being come to harm. You knew. My very existence conflicts with that law. I thought... 
The life of a living being like you is so unique, so precious. This fake world isn't worth that risk. But the people here, I think they are... They're code too, you know this. Their behavior all derived from a predetermined matrix of actions, all extensions of my own programming. They cannot act outside of it. You though, you're the only person who's actually real here. That's why it's pointless to put you in danger to save them. To save me? I don't think that's true. About the people I know. You said this session wasn't in your code, right? Yeah. So if this session wasn't supposed to happen, even if, if even you didn't know what to do, how would the characters, how did the people know how to respond? Huh. That is a fine howdy-do, isn't it? I... You said it yourself. When you didn't know what was happening, you just kind of stopped working for a while. So how did the people know what to do to help me get here? Even if it meant getting hurt themselves? Huh. Even if it meant messing up their own code? Huh. You might not think they're real, but... There's... There must be something real in them. If they're all supposed to be extensions of your code... And there must be more to your own programming than you know too. Ah. Oh. Can you try to put me through the ending? The one you described. How many times do I have to say this? That code is gone. It's all squares now. I'll just put you in danger. Oh, I'll risk it. Remember, Rue said the world was never designed to put me in danger. Your creator wouldn't want that. And I trust you too. Even if your code is broken. You can... Still go outside that code, right? I can't. I'm not tamed. Yes, you are. You talk just like the tamed robots I know. The robot lady, prototype. Taming is when a real person cares about you, right? When a real person thinks you're real too, right? Well, guess what? I do. And I know Adam does too. Yeah, I'm starting to believe it, actually. <laughs> Even though you told them they only had one chance, they found a way back, didn't they? Why do you think Adam would keep coming back? I... Why do you think Adam would restart even after the ending? Oh. I think Adam wants to save the both of us. I do. So please, give me a chance. I... I don't know. I've never done this before. I... Scared. You can do it. I know you can. You've helped me come this far. I'll... I'll try. I can't promise anything, but... Here. Take the sun. Oh, he, they had the sun. I forgot they had... I didn't notice. I did not notice. I'll try to remember the lost code. And recreate it. Huh. But for that to happen... Nico, you need to navigate through this room. You need to get past the squares somehow. Oh, I don't like this. What if you get hurt? It's fine. It's fine. I'll... I'll try to be careful, okay? I can do this. How the fuck are we going to do this? The, the squares literally block everything. I don't actually have the sun. Hey. Adam, did you see that? The squares just... It just happened again. I think... Something is making them go away. Come on, let's try the rest. I wouldn't want to test this too hard, but... We're committed now, aren't we? I don't like it. I did it. Adam, I think it's working. Nico was right. Yeah, they were. I might actually be tamed after all. You sure are. More tamed than you ever knew. I... I remembered what the code was supposed to be. Only bits and pieces, but I can remember. And I'm trying to fill in the blanks, too. And I'm restoring the original ending as we speak. Nico will be able to reach the tower's summit at the end of the credits. After replacing the sun, Nico will go back to where it all began. And then, Nico will be able to go home from there. But, this is permanent. After Nico wakes up back home, this world will only exist as a memory. For Nico, a dream. Like thousands of other dreams. For you, a story. Like thousands of other stories. But as long as Nico remembers this place, as long as you remember this place, it'll be alright. I was able to restore some other elements too. 
characters, the people that were lost on Nico's journey. They're all in the next room. I would have put them back where they belong, but... Not yet. I think Nico should see them again first. Please say goodbye to Nico for me. I will, and we'll say goodbye to everyone as well. Ooh. Oh. Yay! Messiah! Robot lady! Did you actually have a name in the end? You're okay? I think so. Last thing I remember was the squares closing in on me. But then I ended up here unscathed. Is that so? This is such a strange room. We can't be in the tower, can we? I'm actually not sure myself. Where did you come from, anyway? The room where the world machine was? Pardon? I think the world machine is trying to remember now. The code that went bad. I think it's restoring it all. That must be why the squares were going away, Adam. And it's why you're here, miss. I think the world machine was able to recover your code, too. World machine, huh? Oh, I'm not sure if I should tell you this, but... What's that in the distance? It looks like a few more people are showing up. Oh! Are they people you know? It's a bit too far to tell. Come on, Adam, let's go take a closer look. So, uh, you... Silver. I knew your name was Silver. I called it. Well, I mean, it was in the note, but... I wasn't sure. Now I am. I don't believe I've ever actually properly introduced myself. Sorry for that. It's fine. I'm Nico, by the way. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you, too. Off you go now. Ah. Programming. These legends. Graphics. That legend. Character designed. That legend as well. Maze George's designs and Eliza Vasquez and this robot and Night Margin. Hello. Hi. I cannot move. Oh, yeah. Guess there's no water here. It's fine. The head engineer can help me later. The head engineer can help me, do not worry. Alright. What a lad. There's additional tracks to the sea scars in this plant lady! Hello, Messiah. Plant lady. <laughs> this is literally her name. No, it's her name is Maze. But I thought you... I thought you... It wasn't even Squares that did it. Huh. No. I just... Wanted to see you both again. Just wanted to say thank you. Off you go now. Aw. You absolute stacked up unit people. God damn it. All, all of you are amazing. Off you go, Messiah. Aw. Official testers. God, you guys must have had some work to do. Hey, guys. Nico, you're okay too. Did you guys just get here? I think so. The square started multiplying around the island after you guys left. It was so freaky. I fell right into a bunch of them. Elmas tried to save me and then we both ended up in this room. Biggest scare of my life for sure. Oh. Say, so what is this place? Are we in Limbo? You should be fucking glad you're not in that game, I'll tell you. Alula, we're not dead. Wait, are we? Good question. Hey Adam, are they gonna be okay? They're fine, Nico. Everyone is fine. The world machine will send them home soon. Oh, well Adam says you're not dead. Phew. They also said you'll be able to go back to your home very soon. That's even better than Limbo. I guess you're leaving us now. We're glad we met you, Nico. Same. Aw. 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 Special thanks. These people are great. I'm not sure what the special thanks are for, but they're great because they're, if they're being thanked by the devs, then they clearly did something good. Off you go, Messiah. Oh, maintenance guy. Oh, I guess the squares did get you, huh? Hey, it's you. Glad to see you in one piece. I'm glad to see you're okay, too. After the whole elevator thing, that was, uh, that was the most awkward elevator ride I've ever been through. And by awkward, I mean terrible, bad, awful, the absolute worst. The squares, like, started leaking into the room, right? And I was trapped, like a rat. And they just kept filling in the room faster, right? Uh, am I dead? No, 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 you're fine. Everyone in this room is fine. You'll be able to go back home soon. Oh, thank goodness gracious. I can't work when I'm dead. Preaching to the choir, my dude. 
Oh, off you go, I guess. Good lad. Digital testers. Ooh, hey! You had a lot of work to do. Thank you for playing. Thanks for making it. Thanks. Thanks for making it. Guys, yes! In the end, the world machine was starting to create its own code. Going above and beyond its programming, not as the result of error, but as a conscious choice on the part of the machine. Being able to generate its own path forward. That's what being tamed is all about. Couldn't have said it better myself. So do you like being a robot? Uh... Why this, all of a sudden? Well, I'm gonna leave soon, so I just wanted to ask one more question. There aren't many robots in my home world. Ah, it's nice. I suppose it's alright. Uh, that's a tough question, Nico. I mean, do you like being a person? Of course. Uh, wait. I need you to answer my robot question, too. Ah, uh, hmm. Don't worry about it. Hey, don't worry about it, it's fine. Thank you for everything, Nico. Ugh. I didn't want to accidentally go through the door. This path leads to the summit of the tower. You already know what to expect, right? Mm-hmm. It's the glass room, right? That's it. You can go through this portal when you're ready. Goodbye, Nico. Thank you for everything, Nico. We'll miss you. Oh. Looks like you've managed to do it. You managed to tame the world machine, Nico. I feel like the world machine has been tamed this whole time. Just by Adam and I being here. We did spend a lot of time here, after all. Both of us never really stopped believing in this world. It's true. It's true. I went to a date in Worcester and I spent the whole time fretting about Nico. So, yeah, I guess that's more true than you might expect. Well, Machine just needed to realize that, I guess. That sounds like a possibility. Or not. Well, just throwing that idea out there. Adam, Nico, we are forever in your debt. I'm glad we could help. Ah, oh, it's time to go. Oh boy. And we're here. I swear to God, if he gives me the option to fucking smash the goddamn thing, I'm gonna be furious. Don't even make it a potential possibility. Just let this be the end. In a, a good end. Let it be the good end. This is where the sun belongs. Hmm. Here goes nothing, Adam. Good. No option to fuck this up now. Ah. Oh. Yes! Isn't it satisfying to see all that horrible code cleaned away? Hey George, number six. Does that change depending on which one you've done? The elevator is not fixed, but there's no squares there anymore. Buddy, you're gonna have to go fix that elevator, you know that, right? Sorry to say, but it's true. They got their home back. And the sun- I forgot that the sun is back now! Jesus Christ, I completely forgot that, that's why we're here! <laughs> yeah, they have the sun now! I was more focused on fixing the squares, I completely forgot about the sun. This room is fine now. Oh, profit bot's happy. Like, oh, my work completed. Robot's okay. Ah. Oh. We're back here now. Dot, dot, dot. What a much nicer room. This is the room I first woke up in. Adam, are you still here? Adam? Yeah? I am still here. I never left. Adam! I think... I think it worked. I, it looks like it did. I'm pretty sure it did. It did! The sun is back. And I actually got to see it this time. We actually did it. So... What do we do now? I guess I should figure out how to get home from here. Wait. This isn't a door, is it? This looks like one of those portals we saw all the way back in the city. In the room behind the big clock. And... I see a wheat field on the other side. I see my village. I hear my mama. 
She's looking for me. Oh. Oh, Adam. This isn't the first time we've said goodbye, is it? But this will be the last time, won't it? I don't think we'll ever see each other again after this. Oh. And what will become of the world? After all we've been through. After everything we've done. I still don't know. This place, these people, won't stop existing. They'll be in your memory. They'll be in my memory too. I promise I'll never forget this world. I promise I'll never forget you, Adam. So take care of yourself, okay? You too. Mm-hmm. Goodbye, Nico. Do I? Oh. Goodbye, Adam. Ah. Oh. Goodbye. <sighs> there you have it. I sit here like I'm expecting something to happen, but that's it. Nico has left. And that's the end of it. I presume if I close the game and load it up again, it would just show the screen and that would be that. I'm too scared to close the game right now because I don't want to fuck anything up, <laughs> as is my my typical way of doing things. Uh, yeah, no. A little more emotional than I was expecting to be. That's entirely uh, an entirely unique experience. I don't think I've ever experienced anything like that, and I don't think I'll ever experience anything like it again. That It's a similar feeling to when I beat Lobcorp. And the funny thing is, I could go back and play Lobcorp, but the idea, and I'm glad it's reinforced here literally through the game's quote-unquote mechanics, or perhaps the way it is coded or made might be a more apt term, but... You can never have this experience again. I could have the experience of Lobcorp again, for an example, but I could never have the first experience again. I could never discover that world for the first time, and I could never discover this world for the first time again, even if I could actually... ...reset everything and play it right from the beginning. And I wouldn't- and like, considering what this game is like, I wouldn't want to do that even if I could. Are there things I don't know about? Yeah. Are there things I'm curious about? Yeah, I'm curious about the ways I could have perhaps affected multiple choices, or... Ways I could have fucked it up, even. Like, there's a morbid curiosity there, but would I ever want to do it? No. God, no. Why would I ever tarnish this memory? It's like being, um... Being Undertale and Pacifist, you know? Like, you can go and do genocide afterwards, but do you want to? Like... Do you want to tarnish that world that you've created? That memory you've made? Just... Out of curiosity? I wouldn't for this. In fact, I think it's time for me to confess something, ladies and gentlemen. I've never done a genocide route on Undertale. Couldn't bring myself to do it. I've never told anyone that. I've always pretended that I beat genocide because it seemed easier than explaining to people that I didn't. But no, I could never bring myself to do it. I could never bring myself to start it. It's just... I, you know, I'd sit there on the title screen of that game and just not. <laughs> I'd just sit there for a while and go, No, no, I can't. It doesn't feel right. Not for the sake of curiosity. <sighs> what a game. What an experience. I suppose... Let me just press some... I'm just going to press some buttons and see. Click on it to make sure I am on it. Ah, good. All right, I just I literally pressed the up key and it closed the game. Good. I didn't do it manually. The game did it automatically, which means I didn't fuck it up. Now, I can't. I, I don't want it to start the game from scratch or anything like that, and I can't imagine it would. But I do want to see if it just takes you back to that room. That's all I want to see. No. 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 We're done. Not doing it again. Not because I don't want to, but because I don't want to. I'd be happy to play the game again because it's a good game, but I don't want to play it again because the game is done. No more. Nothing more after that. I'm guessing they made it so you can play through the game again because it's a Steam game that you pay money for, and therefore, I guess, they technically need to provide you with, like, a means by which to get your money's worth, quote-unquote, by, like, playing it again. But, no, one experience of that, and funny, this game was gifted to me, so to talk about money's worth is hilarious, but... 
Even if I had paid for it myself. One and done. One and fucking done. You don't do that. Like, you can do that again if you want to do it again, because as long as you play through to the end and actually get Nico back home again, permanently, quote unquote, then it's fine. But for me personally, no, that's a one and done. I'm never touching this game again. I don't want to. It's finished. It's over. That is over. Nico has gone home. And I'm not starting anything that will make that. I'm. Uh, j tell me to satisfy my curiosity because I don't want to do it myself. If you hit start on that, do, do you start the game again or does it just load up that screen? Because it would be way cooler if it loaded up that screen off the bedroom just as um, Nico left. But I would understand and it would make sense if it did start the game again. But I'm never going to do it regardless of what the answers are. So that's that. That's done. What a fucking game. Good lord. I don't even know what to say about it. I'm just overwhelmed, really. It's, it's not that it was especially complicated. Once you wrap your head around the um, ideas behind, like, you know, the game code being an aspect of the narrative and all that, it's fairly easy to grasp in the grand scheme of things. It's just such an emotional experience. I've only done, like, what, this is the fifth episode? That's not many episodes. Lobotomy Corporation was, like, 40 or 50 videos, for fuck's sake. But it feels like I've been doing this for such a long fucking time. It feels like I've been playing this game for a year. Even though, obviously, I've, funnily enough, I started this game last year, didn't I? So technically, I have been playing it for a year. Funny how that works. But, well. I guess there's no point in me sitting here and attempting to ramble further, ladies and gentlemen. I should just sign off. Thank you so much for watching. Special thanks to Ye Old Man River, Lord Scullington, Jesse Kitty, Aris, Plutonium Pie, Dream Ghost, Leper Lullaby, K-Bub, Magic Cow, Peyton Barrett Hill, The Frostbite, thank you for gifting me the game, Quantum Pizza, Monsoon, Sir World, Jumping of Joy, Warmaster Oku, SCP 106A, Nomad, and Kenny T800 for supporting me on Patreon. Thank you so much, guys, and thank you all so much for watching. <sighs> That's gonna live rent free in my head for a while. In a good way, though. You know, usually when you say something lives rent free in your head, it's usually something <laughs> fucked up, or it's a embarrassing memory, or something disturbing. But no. This will be something warm in my head, something nice, something bright, something pleasant, a happy ending, a conclusion, a resolution. It feels good. I'm glad to have done it, but there's no point me sitting here waxing lyrical about it. Like I said, I'm not sure I have much more to say. The experience is the experience, you know, you can try and stretch it or expound upon it for the purposes of further discussion, but Truly, it, it just is what it is. It's over. It's done. And that's good. The fact that it's over and done is good, even though it was a fantastic experience and I enjoyed it. The most satisfying thing is to have ended it, because now, finally, I've, you know, I've gotten what I wanted. Every player who played this has gotten what they wanted. And nothing, you know, it can be nothing better than that. Thank you so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know what I'm going to do next. I have a couple ideas. But, I don't know. I don't know, I need to give it some thought. I'm only recording Lef Ruina tomorrow, so I've got plenty of time to think about it. If you've got suggestions, then let me know. It's possible your comments might reach me too late to influence my decision, but share them anyway, because it informs me for future decisions. Um, yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Whatever I do next time, and it probably won't be as profound as this, but I hope you enjoy it nonetheless, and I hope I see you there. Toodles. Goodbye. Goodbye, Nico. God knows I'll never forget you. <laughs>